What's up everyone, this is Ryan Sims. In this video, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes and show you how we created these images here. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. It's about to get raw. It's about to get real. It's from raw to real with Ryan. So first off, I want to send out a huge thank you to V-Flat World for sending me two V-Flats to use in this photo shoot. Guys, if you haven't checked out V-Flats and you're not using them in your work, they are amazing and you definitely need to go check them out. I've actually got one of the V-Flats uh, right here behind me uh, to create a background. There are all kinds of creative and different ways to use V-Flats and incorporate them in your photography. You can create different shapes and strips of light and I'm actually going to show you a little bit of that in this video. I've used V-Flats in the past as backgrounds uh, to bounce light off of, uh, to flag the light on my subject to create a dramatic portraiture um, and then just use it as a normal white balance reflector so a lot of creative different ways to use them. So needless to say I was super excited to unbox my V-flats and get to work. So for the footage that you're about to see uh, I want to apologize for the audio. I thought that my audio recorder was working. Turns out it wasn't. So the audio that you hear is actually from the camera which is not bad. I think it'll be fine. And so now I'm going to pass it over to myself to explain the setup. So here we go. Hey, what's up guys? This is Ryan Sims and today I'm gonna to be photographing Emma. Hi, I'm Emma. <laughs> and uh, and this is just gonna be a fun shoot. Uh, it's gonna be involving a lot of uh, water and splashing of water. And so it should be really, really cool. As you can tell, I am in my tiny one car garage and we have got a lovely setup going on right now. First of all, uh, thank you so much to V-Flat World for sending us two, not one, but two V-Flats that we can use. And as of right now, um, it's 6 p.m. and the sun is starting to really come in into my garage. You can probably see it right here on my eyes right now. Um, and so <laughs> we are uh, trying to use the negative fill to block out some of the sun, but also right here to kind of uh, use a negative fill on this side of Emma. So we've got our V-Flat set up here. For our main light, we have the Link 800 watt second flash unit. Thanks to Paul C. Buff, thank you so much for that. With a nice foldable beauty dish with uh, the grid, so the lights will be channeled. And then also in the back, we kind of got a little bit of an experimental setup. Um, I've got my uh, hair light with a uh, dark yellow color gel on here on an Einstein. These are all Einsteins, by the way. Uh, I've got a Einstein flash unit with a strip box, also with a grid on the top of that. And for this Einstein, we have a snoot that is actually just uh, using a color gel right now. I've got purple on there, and it's just kind of creating this little tiny strip of color onto the background. And so, kind of a fun, experimental, gosh, that sun's right in my eye. Kind of a fun, experimental uh, photo shoot. Um, let's just get right into it, and let's have fun. All right, all right. So if you want to back up a couple of seconds to this moment right here, <laughs> uh, so my original idea was just to uh, do the water splash idea and when I saw that strip of sunlight coming in uh, caused by the V-flat, again it was 6 p.m. sun's coming right in and uh, I thought I'd covered all the sunlight but I left that one little strip there and uh, I immediately thought to myself let's use that. Let's, let's do a couple shots before we get into this whole uh, water splash thing. So I wasn't planning on doing that but in the moment, I was like, there it is. It's fun how ideas kind of bring themselves about or blind you with their presence. Ooh, that's really cool. Actually, you had to put your head down a little bit and the eyes open They look awesome. They look like they really don't. Now this is where we got into the water splashing portion of the photo shoot. And so it was pretty interesting trying to figure out how much water we're supposed to splash on her, how hard we're supposed to throw it, and we definitely had a couple funny moments in there. You ready? On three, one, two, three, splash. Oh, oh it's my ear hole! Gosh, sorry! <laughs> it's okay. yeah. Was it? I'm so. That was so hardcore. <laughs> that was straight up savage. I didn't. Look, look, you can tell. Boom. Oh my god. <laughs> and then, and then like instant left. <laughs> Did you bring a change of clothes? Okay. So we're gonna do one, two, three, splash. Ready? Okay. 
Here we go. One, two, three, spot. Hey. Hey. That might have shot. One, two, three, splash, all right? One, two, three, splash. It's like, it's like Next up, we used a spray bottle to create uh, a really cool mist effect with that blue lighting. Uh, I thought it looked pretty sweet. And so um, when you spray that water bottle, it kind of refracts some of that light and creates a really cool mist. And so, um, yeah, that was cool. All right, stop for a second. Looks really cool. So now that the photo shoot is all wrapped up, let's check out what we got to create. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I actually have a retouching video on my Gumroad account of this image here. If you would like to see the Photoshop workflow behind this video, please check out the link in the description. So if you would like to support me and my work, that is one great way to do it. Also, another great way to support me, if you'd like to see more videos like this one, is to be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Make sure you click the notification button so that you can stay up to date on all of my latest videos. And until next time, God bless.